Ho, ho, ho. How's it going, everybody? Me, Amanda, here doing the Christmas video. Hey, everybody. Happy holiday week. Merry Christmas to everybody. We have something very special today. Today is this big, giant chest of goodies from Germany. This is not a sponsored video. I bought it with my own money, boys. <laughs> this is the... Lebach... Lebachin? Le Le Lebkuchen? Yep. Kuchen Schmidt, Schmidt aus Nuremberg. This is a company in Germany, and they do baked goods. Now, there is a hub in New Jersey that handles these for them, a store, as you will. We got it from them. We'll put a link in the description. Um, it was not the cheapest thing in the world that you can see on the back here, on the actual box. Actually, it comes from Nuremberg, Germany. And there's the website there. If you're interested, like I said, this is not a sponsored video. It's something I thought would be very cool for this. There's not really any MREs that um, are really like Christmassy. And we did a Thanksgiving right. one that had turkey in it. But I mean... We looked and looked and we just couldn't find anything. There's only so, so much stuff. Right. I figured this would be a lot cooler. This is something you guys could actually buy if you wanted it. And like I said, no affiliation with this company at all. Maybe after this we will. And it's kind of cool how the Schmidt part, like we live in a small German town, so there's a lot of people in our town with the last name of Schmidt. It's kind of a coincidence. But, yep. Okay. So Let's uh, start it out. It is a massive, massive, massive box. I'm going to flip it down here. Very and nice tin. Philip has a huge job. I'm trying to think. He's going to have to let me know if he could get in there and see what's happening. That's and all of our nutritional fact paper there. We probably don't want to know how much sugar is in all this stuff, but... Uh, how much sugar is in this? <clears throat> all of it. Yeah. All of it, all the time. They have a whole bunch of stuff printed off. I guess they have a print off for every single thing in here. Mm -hmm. really in case nice. you got the diabetes, if you did have it before, boys, you're going to have it after this. <laughs> all right? And so everything, nothing, nothing looks too crazy. Now, remember... A lot of stuff from Europe is not crazy added sugar or sweeteners. So what we found in the past, everything was not near as sweet uh, as it is here in the States. And I'm lo looking for a list here. There's not of everything. Uh, so we're just gonna have to wing it. So that's just- Go uh, ahead. This is just something extra that was in the box. It's a nice little- uh, little tin sign here, if you can see that. Probably point it down a little bit. Okay. Got it? Okay. And then this is all kinds of baked goods. This is gonna be our first one here. The big giant box of cookies. Now, here's a fun fact about this, as I bring the translator up. I first seen this on Amazon. On Amazon, this is more than double the price. And I was contemplating, is like, three or four hundred dollars on Amazon. I was like, damn. Crazy. And I was like, no, I don't want to do it. And then I was like, well, let me just copy and paste this into Google. Couldn't have find out this box is like 120 bucks from the actual place. So always use pays to do your research on it. This is now if this is gonna translate craftsmanship pastries is what it translates to Everything's in different font. This is Stalin. This is the dirty old Christmas Stalin, boys. If you never had Stalin, we actually, we've all had Stalin here because, mm -hmm. like she said, we're in a German community. Mm -hmm. And so Stalin is like a drier bread in the loaf. And usually it has uh, hard candies in it. Yeah. Things like that. One thing I might have you do, we might go grab uh, a couple paper plates. All right, so let's try the bread real quick. We're gonna cut it in half right here. Try me a piece. We'll get Amanda, oh boy, oh boy. Don't give, be giving me no big piece. Things are, here. things are going sideways here. It's crumbly, that's for sure. There's your piece. Okay. Yeah, you would definitely, I mean, this is, it's dry, but that's just because it needs butter. Mm. 
All right. It's a little bit drier. Not enough where it's like sucking all the moisture no. out of your mouth or anything. It tastes the fruitier. Kind of it has fruit a nice like it, but... dark roast to it because mm -hmm. the bread is brown very nicely on the outside. And then rolled it in powdered sugar. Kind of topped everything off. I would say overall, it's like a 9 out of 10. Very nice. Kind very, of very good. me back in the day when Grandma used to make it. Yep. Okay. We're going to put this up here. We're going to start loading everything up on the front of the table so you all can see it. Now, Le Buchan, I think it's how it's called. It's 5.2 ounces, 5.29 ounces, gingerbread house. This is... It's really cute. Yeah, interesting little package. Here's all the stuff on the bottom of it. Kind of like a, a Hansel and Gretel theme going Expiration on. Expiration date 5-5 at 22. And this is, let's see if we could translate a little bit on this and see. We're going to try to do it quickly so it's not taking an hour. This one's brown gingerbread cookies, chocolate hearts, fruit filling, wheat flour, all kinds of stuff like that in it. So this is... Yeah, Hansel and Gretel and the... On there, that's cute. Try and open it without destroying it. Yeah, don't tear it up. Hey, hey. So oh, these oh, they're huge. <laughs> are chocolate hearts. Hmm. Then inside this one we have, I'm going to snap this back together. I oh, like a little storybook. Or... Huh. A little story goes along with it. That's cool. This is definitely like a uh, every kid's fantasy, I guess, you know. <laughs> to have stuff like this from a different country, have a little story that goes with it, mm -hmm. or have you. Um, let me see your plate over here for a minute. I'm gonna throw one of these on here. I barely touched that with a knife, and look, it already cut into it. But this over here. You smell it? I smell the chocolate, oh yeah. Yep. Let's go ahead and cut this thing in here. Fill up a good on the Gosh, white plate. Cut some small pieces because this is going to be overload. <laughs> I'll pass that to you. So here it is, gingerbread cookie. It's melting in my fingers as I'm touching it. So what's your feel on gingerbread? I can take it, just not like a lot of it. It's not that bad. Smell it now that it's cut open. So it's got like a filling, a filling in the middle of it. It's like cake. Yeah, very soft. The ginger taste is actually very good on mm -hmm. that. Not overpowering at all. I mean, that's like a 10, for a cookie that's in a box. Yeah, it's that's really a 10 fresh. Out of 10. Oh yeah, good. For sure. Really good. Okay, let's move on. So let's go and try the next thing. Next thing is a little tin. And most of the stuff seems to be on the bottom of the tin. This is also gingerbread. I like this, the scenes. Wafer gingerbread. The scenes on all these boxes are just really neat. It is a very nice tin. Like everything's very well thought out. Everything, the, the tin was not damaged at all, which is kind of a good thing. You can see here, I don't know if it's reflecting or not off of it, but it's a very, very good tin. Open her up here. Perhaps. Get it right in the microphone. There you go. <laughs> Can you guys hear it? No. Oh. Oh boy. That looks, that looks cool. The diabetes is <laughs> rolling in. We're getting there. We're going to have to brush our teeth and run about 10 miles after all this, all right? Yep. Okay. Wait. So there's actually two different ones in here. Well, we, we can just try one. Huh. Now, 
It's almost like a waxy coating. Our good that. friend Carson has actually sent me these before, but it's been a while. I'm trying to remember how it tasted. And uh, actually, I've not talked to Carson in a while. So we got nuts, 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 nuts on top of there, some sort. There is some arrangement of nuts on top of here. I'm just gonna slab off a chunk of that. I'm gonna hold it up here. We're gonna show you guys. Now, if I had a guess, I would say that might be gingerbread flavor also. Not it sure. It says gingerbread on the yeah. translator. It's like a very cinnamony, cinnamony. I like everything's fresh. Like it's packed very nice. What, is it good? <laughs> you give me like that, oh hell yeah. No, it's horrible, you better not try none. Uh -huh. A lot of cinnamon, has like a, a sweet glaze on top of it. It's almost like an airy, that's a, fresh. That's a 10 out of 10. Oh yeah. No doubt, 100%, very, very mm. good. I wanna stick this back in here. Well, we can already tell you the box is gonna be a 10 out of 10 when we're done. <laughs> no doubt about it. I'm gonna pull this back here for right now. Next up is this guy right here. We'll let Philip focus on that. We just pull this up. This is won't do it. So we just gotta find the back where it's not a font. Protect against the heat. This thing will not. It will not translate that. A lot of these boxes, I feel like they're they're colored, the the prints in different colors, so it's it's hard to translate it. Yeah. So the pull tab, no, it is not. Well, I'm sure whatever it is, it's gonna taste good. This is. Speculatus, Ladius, S P E K U L A T I U S. Ah, so it's kind of like a like a Biscoff cookie. I just share that one. Do you put your nose all over it? <laughs> <laughs> you want this one? I'm just gonna break off a little piece of that. It's a very buttery Biscoff, like a cinnamon Biscoff kind of cookie. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, like a like a butter cookie. It's like a butter cookie, but way better. <laughs> Do you taste? Is, is it have any gingerbread? Do you think in there? Or is it only cinnamon? No, I just taste like a, a butter, like a cinnamony butter flavor. Now, there's some more of these same cookies that were in here, but they're a little bit different looking. Uh, do we think we need to taste them or not? Uh, probably. Say, <laughs> I was gonna say no. Oh, the internet sound or what? The translator is not having none of this. So these are different. This has king on the front of it. Mm. So it says gingerbread with walnuts. We're gonna have to call the neighbors to come, come eat all this stuff with us later, huh? I'm sure they would. You said you just want a little piece? Yeah, they're cutting big stuff there. Cut to the cookie, the tablecloth, and the whole works? Yeah. There we go, grab something off of there. Okay, well the layer broke. Crumbly. 
Very crumbly. This one has nuts mm. in it. That's still good. Same thing, airy, nutty. Now I did see it had Spice. orange, orange in this one. You could definitely taste that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Orange, nuts, gingerbread. I know, I'm cranking that right that's what I'm tasting, the orange. It's good. It is a... I mean, they really have their stuff together. Okay, start taking off the top here. Yep. That's heavy. It's like a solid chocolate something. Milk chocolate, gingerbread, and gingerbread chocolate flakes. Without flour and gingerbread dough on the side there. Oh, it's got English on the side. Oh, a little bit. Gingerbread without flour and gingerbread dough. Okay. Next up. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> These must be diet. <laughs> If you ever woke up in the morning and said that that cook is clearly that's clearly a diet cookie. I mean <laughs> with Jenny Craig. Your Jenny Craig cookie, madam. You're cutting off big pieces there. Okay, so I figure you're growing pick it up. I figure you're growing girl, you need bigger uh, piece. Uh-huh. Well, girl, and you'd be doing after eating these is outward. I'm gonna hold this up and let Philip get. So it's got like a layer of like nuts in the bottom and cake on top. Good combination of the the nuts with the gingerbread. I like and then it. look at the bottom. Nah, you guys probably wouldn't like it. <laughs> I'm finding though this is all kind of tasting the same. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I really didn't think it'd be that many. Cookies in it. I want to try to somewhat reassemble this. I would say that one a little less cake-like than the others. Okay. Wouldn't you say? A little, maybe a little much on the chocolate. I would say. Next on the list, I'm just picking off the top of the box here. I just won't. That one's really like gold color on top and black on top of that, so it's gonna be hard to decipher that. Gingerbread cookies, sugar, ice, and chocolate coated. Oh, okay, there you go. A lot of gingerbread. If you don't like gingerbread. <laughs> just about everything here is gingerbread. But I feel like they're all similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are. Similar tasting, similar. I said we just crank this out of here. Put it in the Ziploc. We're gonna put this here in the, look at the plethora of cookie <laughs> crumbs. Just gonna ram that back in there, put that back in here. We're going to start stacking her up, I guess. Oh, not that big of a chunk. Come on, we still got a lot of you stuff can't eat here. That? I've seen you eat. Nathan, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pinch a little piece off of there. This is very delicate. A little bit of gingerbread taste to it, not much. But, it's also very similar to slight differences. I was gonna say, I, I'm feeling like it's all tasting the same. So, I mean, it's very good, don't get me wrong. All right, so next up. Are these bad boys. 
I'm guessing on the bottom is more like your cookies. Ah, English on this butter pastry, mm. wheat flour, almond, hazelnut, sugar, waxy cornstarch, dextrose, and egg white powder. Sounds good. Holy cow, man. <laughs> Like a horseshoe. Like a crescent moon shape. How big a piece you want? That just that's good. It's like a butter cookie, I would say. I'm good. It's not and the thing about it is it's not just like a it's better cookie. than the butter cookies that you buy like in a tin around here. All right, I'll put that over there facing them. But it's it's very well made. It's not like cheap stuff. Mm -hmm. Not cheap and nasty, for sure. Uh, the, um, that tells everything in there. White gingerbread cookies. Sugar, liquid, whole egg, orange peels, almonds, all kinds of stuff. You know, I really, we didn't look at the inside of this box at all. I really thought it'd be a lot more of a variation. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Of stuff. And we tried to find something with like cheese and sausages and stuff, but it was just too hard to find anything like that with like the variety packages. Stuff. Well, good night. Look at that. Oh my. <laughs> we'll hack it open, hold it up here and let you look at it and try a piece of that if you want. This smells a lot stronger like gingerbread. Hmm. Is it strong? Very soft and moist. Not overpowering again on the gingerbread. It's it's perfect. The bottom's it, it also doesn't... got the white. Mm -hmm. It's almost like, a, I'm not gonna say rice paper. I think it's some arrangement of sugar. Yeah, very good. It is stronger. Yeah. Gingerbread taste, though. I think. Everybody's going to be like, oh, you didn't eat the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, well, give us about a gallon of milk and I uh, can wash this, some stuff down here. Okay. So we got this and one more box of stuff. This is Dewar, Dewar Brat, right? Brown ginger, another gingerbread, brown gingerbread, wheat flour, caramelized sugar syrup, whole milk, chocolate, cocoa, all kinds of stuff. Damn, look at the knife. Yeah. Look at the sugar on the knife. It's like a serious situation. We don't need any more than that. Well, I'm gonna put this back on here. Yeah. I'm crankling this as loud as I can on the microphone. So if you guys can't hear it crankle on the microphone, let us know. <laughs> All right, there's a half cut of it. Inside. I like how all the cookies and everything are very soft. It's 
like cake. This one almost just kind of melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. That one's one of the top ones for me. Oh yeah. That's like too. a very soft, very light gingerbread taste. Like you said, too much gingerbread is too strong a gingerbread taste is a turn off. Yeah. I think, yeah, I feel like the sugar, just everything just melts. When the, you put your mouth. the very last one was not this one, the one before that. That was the strongest gingerbread we had out of the whole works. Mm -hmm. There was two, I thought it was one box. There's two boxes. Nut almond cookies. So I wonder why some of these did not have English and some of these do. Mm -hmm. Nut almond cookies, hazelnuts, almonds, lemon, lemon peel. Interesting. Beet syrup. Really? Hmm. Yep. I guess is that for the coloring, maybe, to make it red? Well, the diabetes kicking in, though. A little kind of woozy. Oh. Those are cute. Look at the cookie crumb. Look at the yeah. crumb situation. I'll rake them all to one side. Yeah, I feel like little kids would really get great enjoyment out of this. Hey, open this right for a bedtime. <laughs> you get to go, right? Send them full of sugar and, or get them full of sugar and send them off to grandma's house, right? Okay, you wanna put that over there for me? There you go, there's a cross cut. Nice little bit of icing on it. What kind of nuts were in there? Um, hazelnut. Hazelnut. I taste the hint of lemon too, but I think it's a good combination together, honestly. That's a very mild cookie. You can barely tell anything, you can barely mm -hmm. taste anything right. on it. Aftertaste, you can taste a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of mm -hmm. maybe maybe nutmeg. A tiny, tiny, tiny Some amount of nutmeg. I like how these, like nothing's been overpowering. It's all been a good combination of everything. Let's go ahead and close this. We've got two more things in here, but it's gonna flip over. Two more cookies. This one is so this has marzipan in it. Hazelnuts, almonds, walnuts. Oil seeds, 24%, whatever that means. Cocoa butter. Let's see what this one is. Man, good thing there's no more than this. I'm getting- I know, right? No, oh, no more food for the rest of the day for me. So marzipan's a big German thing for cookies. I'm gonna go ahead and put that over there. Your cookie madam. Well, if someone is allergic to nuts. Probably shouldn't be eating this stuff, but. You got it? It, it honestly all tastes the same, but. The chocolate on this one's a little different, a little bit mm -hmm. darker chocolate. I taste a different kind of spice to this one though, like after. The marzipan kind of has a little bit different taste to it. Mm -hmm. No lemon, no almost orange. Like a, almost like a licorice, a black licorice taste. Yeah. I guess the chocolate maybe, mm -hmm. I would say. Last one, butter cookies. In with the very, with the mildest one, hopefully. Mm -hmm. This one is wheat flour, sugar, butter, concentrated butter, liquid whole egg, cornstarch, natural flavors. But you notice there's nothing crazy in it either. This may contain traces of tree nuts, sesame seeds, and soybeans. I 
think it would be neat to go to Germany and go into all the little Your cookie, shops madame. and stuff and look at all the different So this has candies. a little bit of powdered sugar on top of it, or granulated sugar. Now this tastes more like the, the butter cookies that you'd buy in the tins around here. It really does too. Mm -hmm. Very delicate in your mouth. Very, not powdery. Mm -hmm. Very crisp. So, I tell you what, this is a wonderful. Very good. Wonderful, we'll call it a chest. Mm -hmm. But if we ate any more than any of this, yeah, we'd be sick. done. Yes. Absolutely wonderful deal. I'll put a link in the description if you guys want some of this. Like I said again, we're not affiliated with this company whatsoever at all. I thought it'd be a really cool Christmas thing to do for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. We won't be posting a video this Wednesday or Friday. We'll let this video kind of do its thing. We'll be back in on Monday with a video. Maybe something from China. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you then. All right. Have a safe and happy holiday, everybody. All right. Thanks for watching.